you know, it, it is what it is. So I was, it wasn't even like a get back. It wasn't got you back. It was a, a I'm better. Shooting singles and doubles when I was young, I, I wrestled like maybe for a year and a half, two years. Uh, when I was 10, I think, 10, 11, 12 years old, around that time. And then I never continued. I wish I would have continued wrestling through middle school, high school. But yeah, I've been competing for a long time. Bad boy. Stop it. Ah. I mean, my ears had been busted up. So my, this was my left one when my left one first started getting messed up. It's okay, I'm a doctor. <laughs> uh, my right one had been busted up so many times. I've, had this one drained and lanced with scalpels and even put like a catheter in it to let it leak overnight one time because it was so much pressure. It was just part of, I mean, every fighter who's been fighting long enough to drain their ears. Throughout the years of, of training with her at, at the old gym, you know, fighting on cards with her, taking losses on cards with her together, you know, we both lost on the same card before. And it's motivating because I know the emotions that, and, and the struggle that comes along with bouncing back after tough things and after, you know, so it, it's always inspiring to see fighters like that pick themselves back up. Good uppercut. Nice, good, good shots, but that's Hoya. that clinch again. Hoya yeah. with a combination. I think I might have changed my shirt or something like that. My wife took this picture. She came, we had to go to the hospital because she came meet me in the back, um, like one of the doctor's tents they, they set up at the event. Uh, the, the ground, like it was a pool of blood. It was dark. My nose was broken really badly in a couple spots, kind of crushed at the top. I, I had, since then, I've had to have two nose surgeries. Uh, I have cadaver, my bridge of my nose is a cadaver rib from somebody. I don't care how much pain I go through, how much I bleed, how many mother in the crowd say I can't do it. I don't care, I got self-belief. This is what happens when you fight, you know? <laughs> I mean, this is to be, hopefully it doesn't. Sometimes you come out unscathed, but, you know, broken nose, cuts, stitches, that's, I expect stuff like that. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, well, we'll see. I, I don't know how long Diaz is going to be fighting for or, What's going on with him, but I still owe him one. Fifth and final round. Five minutes or fewer to determine the UFC's interim lightweight champion. Yeah, it was an amazing night. Um, and, and next day, flying back home to Louisiana after a long camp, after winning the belt. And right before this fight, too, I didn't know what was going on in my career. Like, we were bouncing around. They were offering me fights. It didn't make sense to me, I thought. You know, so for this to come around and, and all come together, and have a war with a guy like that. You know, it was a great fight. I'm proud of my performance. The standing ovation has already started here in Atlanta. What a fight. The second biggest day, you know, uh, my daughter being born, getting married, this is, that's like, you know, the, the best nights of my life. Oh, no. Man, it's crazy how fast they grow. We're where? Oh no, Popos. It's just part of her life. She she doesn't look at fighting like a big deal or anything because she's around it every every day. We talk about it. She comes out here to, for the whole training camp. Uh, she comes to the gym with me back home in Louisiana sometimes. Uh, like it's not it's not a big deal to her. She, it's it's normal day everyday life fighting. George is one of the first guys to tell me to move up and wait back when I was 45 at the at, you know at the old gym before we built this place. He was like, you know, you're strong, you're big, you're gonna do well with these guys. Stop killing yourself to make 45. But George is a great guy, um, good teammate. He's been helping me out for this one as well. Good teammate, um, good businessman, you know, a lot of knowledge. The way I'm moving forward in my career is like I don't have a whole lot of um, anger towards these guys like I used to when I was younger or animosity or just built up. You know, it, it is what it is. So I was, it wasn't even like a get back. It wasn't got you back, it was a, a I'm better. I'm grow. I'm I'm showing growth. I'm not the same guy. You know, it was more for me than than to, to get him back. Oh, big left and now right. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! About to get ready for a battle, and then you get that you you go through it, and you get that breath of fresh air right after it. Like I'm going back home. Got my hand raised. You know, I'm healthy. You know. My opponent's healthy, everything's good. Go and see my daughter. Like, that's just such a good feeling. Yeah, his grit and perseverance. Um, never say die. That's, that's my career, you know. Um, when you get knocked down, get back up. That's, that's it. You know, I just want um, underdogs out there, when they see me, I want them to see us, you know. That's it.